What's up guys, Games and welcome back to Pro Segment 2022, stage number 13 of the Tour de France playthrough with Arkea Samzik. Today's stage is a flat one between the Bourdoisan and Saint Etienne, although we find quite a lot of hills along the parkour. Um, if you've made the previous episodes, then do go ahead and check them out. But if you have done so, then let's go ahead and try to keep at least one of our jerseys with the Hugo At least it's a plus two on Hugo Shatter, right? That's not too bad. Um, it's a zero on Nairo. I don't know what to do with Nero. I don't know what to do with him. Because if you look at the GC, I'm, I'm, I'm so getting reeled in by Romain and Martinez. I think I can hold up the likes of Carlos Tomas. And I can definitely keep a top 10. But do I genuinely care about a top 10? I personally do not. I don't think Nero does either. either. He's a Grand Tour winner. Do I just let him drop on one stage? And then try to go for like the, the, the Pyrenees stage? That could work. Not much is happening in this stage. It's just a very, very fast paced stage. I expected the breakaway to have a lot more leeway today. Uh, but apparently I, I was wrong. I tried to attack with Connor Swift, didn't work out. Tried to attack with Lucas Sojin, didn't work. Tried to attack with Matt Duel, didn't work. So I tried to attack with Juan Bargill. It worked, but I thought the breakaway would win. It's not. Well, at least it doesn't seem like it will. Um, the peloton is pacing quite high, though. I'm going to guess for Caleb Ewan. Yeah, probably for Caleb Ewan. Philipson or Jakobsen. Uh, as long as Hugo is safe, at last, I'm quite happy with it. This is probably going to be one of the dodgiest sprints I've, gone, I've done in a long time. Nero is going to try and lead Amori Capio and then you go off Tata, but they both have no energy. At least Amori doesn't. Nero does. So does Hugo. Uh, but I can't have just a two-man train. I think it's not going to work. So we're going to try and launch Nairo Quintana here in Saint Etienne. Wh Hugo, why? why? Where? Where? Where have you gone? There goes Amori Capio. I'm just leading Kronovig into the stage. Yeah, nice one, Hugo. Next, next time, yeah, try to hold the wheel. Fuck's sake! Fuck's sake, man! Why does he leave the wheel? Why? Why? That's P6 for Hugo. I mean, it's just very sad. My, my sprint itself was bad. I launched too early with Hugo. But why did he have to just completely disappear out of the wheel of a Mori Capture? I don't get it. Don't get it. Points wise, it means we're still leading. We're going to have 25 points of a pit Sagan from Total Energy. Now was in P4 somehow. Um, GC wise, I don't care anymore. Alright, next up, Saint Etienne Mande. Ooh, tricky finish. Warren Barguil could like that stage. And Nero could get dropped. If you want to see that, then do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't so already. And if you have enjoyed today's video, then leave a like down below. But I'll catch you tomorrow for stage number 14 of the Tour de France of Playthrough. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the phone.